Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Brian Plays Batman, uh, the Telltale series. So, uh, season one. Uh, so on this episode, uh, on the previous episode, uh, we got investigated by the police because the mayor hates that we're supporting Harvey Dent's mayoral campaign, so we are, we met up with Harvey to confront him about, uh, why he didn't know about the investigation, and Selena Kyle was there, ooh, surprising, and, uh, she had a black eye from whenever we fought her on the first episode, or the first episode of our Let's Play, and, uh, we have a scratch on our face from that same thing, so that we both know who each other is, assume, assume, supposedly. So, uh, let's see how this plays out. Harvey has walked away on a phone call. Nice so. to meet the real you. In case you're getting any ideas, no one would believe you. <laughs> right. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. Okay. This is awkward for me. As I recall, you took something from me too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, it looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. Okay. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. Oh, you don't need my help. You seem pretty capable of handling this yourself. Oh, I intend to. Just give me back the drive and I'll be on my merry little way. Yeah, I'd rather not. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The Whoa. address. Okay. Now. No. Um, give me the drive. Apologize about that. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Well, okay then. Let's hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. I'm already wearing a suit. Why didn't Harvey call that out? Seriously. Like, why didn't Harvey, like, say something about that? It's like, he's already wearing a suit. What are you talking about, chick? Like, seriously? Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Open the door. <clears throat> so clearly... This is a few oh god. Well, this is a crime scene. Uh, do we actually get to do some detective work? That'd be interesting. This wasn't a handoff. 
It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? Thug That's what I'm gonna find out. Oz? Anybody? Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. Okay. As you wish. Nothing left to bury. Human remains. That's grody. Uh, scorch marks. Can I examine anything else? Uh, nope. Exposed human remains, squirt marks, link that to that. Uh, whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, non explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Okay. Examine the dead mercenary. I've seen these outfits before. I'm struck what happened here by discovering which piece of evidence best together to tell the story. Ooh, okay, so actual invest investigative detective stuff. Okay, uh, clearly we need to go that direction, but let's check what's ooh, a white rose. White rose. Do we know what that means? Falcone's calling card. It's Falcone. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Okay. So Falcone was involved. We have a, uh... No. Unless someone plants him out there. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes, then. Pockets. Search his pockets. Skylight Club. Okay, that's a good clue, a good place to go after this. Uh, let's check the burnt cop. Uh, can we examine the burnt cop now? This man's been badly burned, but the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What? What did this? Uh, what are we doing? Okay, that's gross. Use left stick to find the bullet and A to ex extract it. Uh, uh, can I actually... Got it. Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Okay. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Okay, incendiary round. Ooh, bloody hands. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Okay, let's link that to that. Oh no, we have to link it to this. Eh, eh. There we go. Link it to the bloody hands. No. Hmm. Uh, okay. How about we link this? To damn it, nope. Uh, can we unlink this then? Ah, break link. Okay, there we go. Break that link. Head. Hold on. Link this to that. See how that turns out. Um, 
never seen a bullet do that. Uh, okay. So maybe that wasn't the case. Um, okay, how about we do this and the bloody hands. A cop shredded this merc to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? Well, that's interesting. The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Okay. Is there anything else I can link that to? Oh, wait. Cancel that. Oh, wait. Is there a link? Uh, can I? Ah, link to that. Okay. Starting to make sense. Don't think so. No proof. No, that doesn't seem right. Okay, uh... Something was here when the explosion occurred. Uh, interesting. Okay, how about if I link this and this together? Probably a vehicle. Yeah. Someone drove off after the explosion. Oh, hey, there's a body over there. Probably ought to check that out. Uh, so let's go do that. What have we got? Examine that. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Uh, pallets examined. Okay. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Can I link the cop? Uh, let's open the shipping container, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no! I want to examine it first, damn it. That would have been the smart idea. Crap. Okay. Canister fragment. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. We know they're Isn't incendiary already. Normal. The point of entry is melted. So we link this to uh, this guy. What does that tell us? Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Okay. Have you put it together? Yes. Okay, cool. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. The snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Or both. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. It was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop. Ooh, could it be dead shot? only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. And would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Okay.
I doubt it's here, because this doesn't look easy to get get to. Or that. What is this? Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. Okay, so we have a choice of going left or right. Uh, let's go to the stairs. Uh, okay, if I had to guess, it would be here. I don't know, there's boxes here, so why not? Not a bad angle. No trace of phosphorus, though. Okay, then. Uh, to the catwalk, then. Let's go! Traces of phosphorus, maybe? Ah, there it is. Phosphorus spike. Ooh, a handprint. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Okay. Cigarette. Ooh. DNA from that. Killing time. Could get some DNA from that. Interesting. Alright, and phosphorus residue trace. This is the right spot. So where did he go? You could get fingerprints from that, probably. I don't know what it was that Tree he used to get that here. handprint, though. Then he should be maybe, nearby. Maybe there's not a fingerprint. Found him. Time to go to work. Wait, if he's alive in here, that means that. He heard all our investigative crap. My turn. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. No, Coney, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. I ain't telling you, Jack. Okay. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. Tell me! The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. <laughs> Please don't! Oh, oh God, no! I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! Some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh god. Maybe that would have been a bit much. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. Uh, let's disappear. I was wrong. I'm gonna need that ambulance too. The hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? 
that man. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Especially since we didn't really need to do that. We got literally nothing out of him by breaking his arm immediately. Yeah, that was a little much. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wade. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. Everyone's not a fan. Of the ruthless vigil You're vigilante. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Who my parents were, the life they led, Gotham revered them. I could never match that. You won't. You will far surpass them. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores, or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Why would it give me the option to tear those up? Like, Neither seriously. I. Why the hell would it well, get? That's like out of character for Back Bruce. into the fray again. Okay, well, uh, I guess we could check our codex. Should be an update, I guess. Uh, what was updated, though? Uh, I guess nothing was updated. Uh, all right, Gotham feed updated. Corruption rumors tarnish Wayne family legacy. That's not a good headline. Uh, I don't really want to sit here and read the whole. Had, uh, article, but we'll just keep going down. Batman tangles with Mass Crooked, Mass Crook atop City Hall, and that's it. Okay, let's see what's in the. Uh, oh, looks like that egg deal. finally cracked. The data drive and thing. inside, Mayor Hill was hiding more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Okay. Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. You see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. Oh. Okay. What have we got? This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Uh... This is a tough call, because the GCPD is known for being corrupt through... I mean, at least from my experience, the GCPD, GCPD can 
is known to be corrupt at times. So I think it would probably be better to give it to Vicky. But I think we need to throw Jay, uh, we need to throw Gordon a bone since we were being a little violent before. Uh, screw it. Let's just give it Vicky to Vicky. showed faith in me. She cares about the truth. She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Vicky through the media. And Batman, by any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. Okay. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. Well, let's try. Hopefully we get pretty, pretty uh, good results from trying this. Okay. This, this is big. You drop a bomb like this, th there's gonna be fallout. That not even Falcone can survive. Why give it to me then? You don't know how much I appreciate it, but you're a Wayne. You could have given it to anyone. I need an ally in the press. After handing me something like this? I'd say you got one for life. Falcone's slippery, but this is enough to hang him out to dry. What this could do for the city, my career, I'm just wondering what the cost is gonna be. It'll be worth it. I don't know, Bruce. Falcone doesn't like bad press. If I run this story, I put a price on my head. The next time my name appears in the media, it, God, it might be an obituary. Buy a bulletproof vest. It's the dress code for reporters here. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, but I've held my own so far. I wonder I how much a bulletproof vest actually goes for. Crime in the city. It's a hydra. You cut Whoa, off that's one Marvel. That's Marvel stuff. More Come on here in its place. I know. Unless we kill the beast once and for all. They literally made even to capable Hydra. of that. If we don't act fast, that void will be filled by someone far worse. Wouldn't be the first time. Lieutenant Gordon. He has his badge in the right place. Yeah, well, I hope that's enough. Sometimes the rest of the force, they... They have their own agenda. Exactly why I didn't give it to It's the a police. good thing you gave this to me instead of the police. Could end up buried in some evidence locker and not on every screen in Gotham where it belongs. Public attention. That's what brings down men like Falcone. Not a bullet. Though after my story runs, he might get that too. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. And though you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. No way. Oh, that's cool. That is actually pretty cool. I gotta give them props for figuring out a way to do the get the Batmobile to be out during daylight like that by camouflaging it like that. That is cool. Skyline Club. What is that? The drone's cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. Let's find Falcone. Okay. Let's check out the balcony. Good point of entry. Okay, so I can maneuver this thing around. Go up, down, left, right. Ooh, what's that? We've got security cameras. Alright. Good to know. Cameras. 
The entire floor is under surveillance. You'll be detected as soon as you enter. No time for subtlety. I'm sure that camera probably saw the drone, but who cares, right? What have we got here? Patrons. Patrons. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh... That guy is clearly off. staring at the drone. Not anymore, I'm not. Just, I just want to point that out. Uh, what have we got here? More p patrons, not patrons. Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his alibi. Okay. That's something else that we could possibly look into. More patrons. You make your round? Yeah. No broken bones. Still yelling from the last time I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, okay. my ass. I know you burned powder tonight. The whole city can smell it. Burn powder. Sounds like a code for weed. I guess. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. The red rose after tonight. Ooh, that sounded a little dark. Uh, what have we got here? We are the dark knight after all. Nothing here. Okay. It's a weird looking ornament or piece of decoration though. Office. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Interesting. Okay, well... Unfortunately, we're at the 30 minute mark, which means it's time for us to call it an episode, but uh, we will figure out our plan of attack into Falcone's uh, Sky Club on the next episode. Until then, my name is Brian. Please leave a like and subscribe. I really do appreciate any any and all support that I receive, and uh, it's very, mu very much greatly appreciated. So thank you for all of you who, uh, who uh, support. And anyway, my name is Brian. Please leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you all in the next episode where we will figure out our entry, our plan of attack to this uh, club here. Until then, I'll catch you all in the next episode, everybody. Later.